Welcome to our short tutorial about using projects in the My Dashboard section of the website. If you use your dashboard prior to 2023, you'll notice we've made a few upgrades to enhance the functionality of the dashboard and make it possible for us to send you updates when new funders are added to the charitable database. You'll notice that all the components in the project form are the same, but they're all in a different format. Let's go through an example to demonstrate all the features available in projects. Now, we've always encouraged members to create projects to organize their thoughts, outline and identify effective search criteria, and manage funding opportunities they have determined will fit their specific projects. So to begin, we'll click on My Dashboard, then we'll click on Projects. And from here, we'd go ahead and click on Add a New Project. And now you're ready to complete the form describing your project program or initiative. Now I'll show you a form that's already completed for the Opioid Outreach and Prevention Program, so you have idea of how this works. Keep in mind that at this point, your project information doesn't have to be fancy or completely fleshed out. By capturing information about the project details, including the description, need, and budget, this will help you clarify the scope of your project and help you identify best search terms to find charitable grant makers. Now looking here at the first tab under project details, you can see at the top we have the title of your project. And then there's a place to enter a high level description of what you're going to do. So in this example, we can see that there are activities around community based outreach and prevention interventions, working with middle school students and their parents. Now the needs section right here provides an overview of the extent of the problem, which is always something a funder wants to know about along with terminology that'll benefit our search terms. Now that we know what we're going to do and why, we can select search terms to find the most relevant grant makers. The budget section includes line items of what will be needed to implement the project with specific brand names, so we can search for project donations using the charitable database. Moving to the next tab, we have our geographic scope. Now this is where you'll identify the countries, states, and provinces you serve using our new checkboxes. Now, just a few things to note between the previous version and this version. In the old form, there is a text field where you could type your geographic scope, countries, states, provinces. And there was another text box to type your geographic focus, which would be your counties, cities, and neighborhoods. In this new form, you'll see the geographic scope section now consists of a menu of boxes to select instead of a text box. You were able to run a script also looking at your old text box and automatically select these boxes for you. Now you should definitely check out your projects to confirm the selections. Some of you had content in that old text box that might still be helpful. So we added that content right down here under the geographic focus section. And this will let you decide if you want to still keep it. Looking at the next tab, we have areas of interest. This is where you'll use the previous information to select search criteria that both broadens and narrows your search parameters. Take the time to review the definitions in our search terms glossary, which you can find linked right here. Some will be obvious, others might require some additional thinking to determine all the areas that will be impacted by your project. For example, the opioid outreach and prevention program will impact the following areas. Health and wellness general, Also, healthcare delivery and access, mental health, public health, and substance abuse. An important note be sure to select your geographic scope and at least one area of interest. You won't receive any alerts of new funders unless you do. Looking at our next area, we have target populations. If you serve any of these specific target populations, note them here so you can search for grant makers seeking to support these particular demographics. Our project will specifically serve children and youth. Finally, we'll look at types of support. This is where you can select the different types of support that grant makers provide. Now, our example project can be explored from a number of different angles, including, say, project planning, project program and support collaborations and coalitions, maybe film and video projects. As you can see, we already have that selected. We can look for technology computers as well as software. And we can even click on equipment if we scroll back up and click that box. At this point, you're now ready to open the charitable databases and start funding grant makers who will support you. 
Creating projects in your dashboard is easy and fun. Once you identify funders, you can save them right to your project form for easy access and to manage your proposal submissions. You can build multiple projects on your dashboard. And if you find a grant maker that would support multiple projects, you can assign them all to that specific funder. If you have any questions, please reach out to GrantStation at infograntstation.com.